In this video, I'm going to show you the right way to add SEO keywords to your content in WordPress. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So I'm on the post listing here for my demo site, and I'm going to scroll down to this post called Men's Basketball Shoes. That is the title of the post. I'm going to click on that to edit the post. So the notion of keywords certainly still exists. It's just that Today, we're no longer sticking them into a field that only exists in the code. Instead, we have to more eloquently use our keywords throughout the page. And in fact, that's what the all-in-one SEO plugin is very good at, is reminding you of all the places you need to include that keyword. So the first thing you need to do is select a focus key phrase for your page. You do your keyword research, decide what keyword you want to target. With this page, if I look on the all-in-one SEO section on the right, and look down where it says focus key phrase. I'm going to click on that. I can see that I have already selected a key phrase, men's basketball shoes. So I want to check, first of all, that men's basketball shoes appears in the post title. This is already telling me that it does appear in the post title. If I click on the little arrow, it's telling me, yes, the focus key phrase is found in the SEO title. If you remember from the page before, I clicked on the title of this page. It was men's basketball shoes. The next place I want to check is the headline of this page. And if we look directly over to the left, the top of this page, we can see the headline is, in fact, men's basketball shoes. Now, this could also say all men's basketball shoes or red and black men's basketball shoes. It doesn't have to match our focus key phrase exactly, but it appears somewhere in this headline. And in this case, it does. The next area we want to look at is header tags. So if I scroll on down the page, I have one header here that says red and black basketball shoes. We can see it's an H2 tag, but my focus key phrase is men's basketball shoes. So this is a great example of how we can use all-in-one SEO to keep our SEO efforts on point. I was pretty close here. This is a page about a red and black basketball shoe, but my focus key phrase was men's basketball shoes. So all I have to do to this header is add the word men's in front of basketball shoes. I don't know if you noticed, but over on the right here where it says focus key phrase, our score bumped up a little bit to 90. There are a couple other places that the focus key phrase should be included that don't really apply to this post, but I want to go over them briefly anyway, because they will apply to longer posts. If you have an introduction and conclusion in your post, you want to make sure to include that key phrase there. So this is more of a product page, but if it was a blog post about these red and black basketball shoes, I'd want to make sure to include the key phrase men's basketball shoes in the intro paragraph and then in the concluding paragraph at the end. I also want to make sure I have that key phrase somewhere in my body copy. Again, not to spam my own content with keywords, but put it in where it makes sense. I also want the focus key phrase to appear in my URL. And the all-in-one SEO plugin here is telling me that it is in my URL. One more place that I want to check for that key phrase is in the meta description. So if I scroll on down past the content of this page to the all-in-one SEO settings section, I can go look at my meta description. It's telling me it's using a post excerpt. Uh, it's too many characters, so I'm going to need to fix that at some point. But if I look at the preview here, I can see right in the first couple of words, it is saying men's basketball shoes. So I'm all set on the meta description. And then one last place I want to check for my keywords is in the image alt attributes. And we can see in the all-in-one SEO section on the right here that AIO SEO is telling me as much. It's telling me it's missing from the image alt attributes. So I'm going to scroll back up to the content of my page. I'm going to click on this image here. And I need to click on the little gear here to get the block settings. And I can see that my alt text is red and black basketball shoes, which is pretty good and pretty descriptive. I am going to change it. I'm going to leave it red and black because I like that. It's descriptive, but I'm going to change it to red and black men's basketball shoes. And then if I click back on the all-in-one SEO sidebar, it's showing me that it is in the image alt attribute as well. And my score has bumped up to 100 out of 100 for my focus key phrase, which is awesome. And it really shows you how you can use all-in-one SEO to get your SEO on point for your SEO keywords. So that's how to add SEO keywords to your content. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to do an SEO analysis of your website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. 
And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.